Well, hello, and you should be most welcome to Gemanism Total Notary Channel. And, um, fortunately or unfortunately or something, I kind of lost some uh, good material. Maybe 30 minutes or so. So, but anyways, um, <clears throat> the game crashed. So, hopefully, we'll not crash the game again. And... Yes, today we're going to polish the Longborge XXX. Uh, we're going to polish it uh, and make it better in most aspects. We already uh, kind of made the turret's barrels a bit longer. So, well, now they don't have as much as, you know, sharp angle, but they fire much longer or a bit longer and that's kind of nice they're a good supportive turret um, it kind of makes me a bit sad that we lost lots of progress uh, but well let's begin doing the thing that crashed the game thir first so the high explosive uh, only shot wasn't too good so we will be changing that with a double thing and uh, have a base bleeder, uh, a double high explosive with a squash head, significantly lowers AP but concentrates all explosive placed directly behind it into shockwave that can generate interior spelling and destroy large chunks of equal walls. So why not try a squash head, it sounds pretty cool. Now we will see if the game crashes when we go to uh, this one and we take this one and we say assign all unassigned intakes to this ammo source. And... Okay. It seemed to work, perhaps. Anyways, we want to try if uh, our cannon works. Whoops. I don't know if this is the new shots. I suppose it is. But I guess we notice if uh, this shell is too long. No. And it cannot be accepted. Okay, this is the old shot. Okay, then we know that. So, uh, we have to edit this thing here. Okay. So, well, I guess... Basically releases gas from the base and the shell and fills a low pressure around area. That, uh, allows for 20% speed increase. Okay, we don't have too much space, so we skip the base bleeder and add... Uh, let's have our more compact squash head here. Alright. So... Force assign all intakes to this ammo source. Great. Right. Uh, so, let's see if it complains now. I guess we have many shots in. So we probably need to reload it. And that, my friends, we do by doing this. We change the number of barrels to two, and then it says no shell loaded. Now it's loading, so it can't fire. Right. Oh, we want less accuracy before we fire. Is it firing? It's reloading. It will probably take forever. So we just set them to three because I think it was a good mix. And then we can increase the fire delay slightly just to get this dun -dun -dun a little much slower. Right, uh, so. Whoops. I will, you know, speed up some of the things here because uh, there are pretty many things I already done. Whoops, I just need to figure out what I already done and what I uh, haven't done, I think, you know. 
Build customized AI. We'll set normal little broadside to zero. Enter broadside to three. Okay, this this is weird. Four hundred. Thank you. Required both uh, two hundred meters. We don't want to get enemies closer than two hundred meters. Turning circle is less when we have set up it properly and it probably can function at three meters depth i really hate this menu why doesn't it work okay great now so um yes oh wait why doesn't escape work why can't i escape with escape oh well so I think for this particular build, we want to set engine higher than weapons, just because we don't want to get the enemy close to us. If they get close, we're, we're kind of screwed. So that's the thing. Also, as we have been consulted by our great consular, uh, the ammo boxes need nowadays I think I watched an old tutorial. Uh, they need at least three blocks space to not detonate. So we'll move over some of the ammo boxes to the side here and hope it doesn't blow up. So that's kind of fun. Somewhere around there. And just because you know, we can add some materials instead if we want much material we can slowly store it and convert it to ammo now i just wonder where our thing is oh wait oh never mind this is our <coughs> armored room Okay, so where is... Uh, there it is. Oh well. I think it's loaded. I wanna test this out. Boom, boom, boom. Seems to be reaching pretty far though. That's nice. And these are heavy artillery things. And they can fire pretty heavy shots. But uh, more on that later. Let's see her. Uh, oh yes. What uh, we also need to do again is fix the... What is here? The turning and the engine. So we want to go in here and just have a little, let's have the four, it's gonna have more engine power, like much more engine power, I'm gonna build this little thing there and we're going to have some turning assistance as well which means we'll build small tur thrusters I mean in the front here so whoops we want the diagonal thing here just like that and then we can go back and put them there that right then we go with uh, water propellers we have new propellers by the way they look a bit different let's use the new propeller because why not and we'll have them stick down into the waters just like that Oh, 
will also totally have what to say these as assisting turning thing except we need to set them to reverse just like that same goes for the other side reverse These do not need to be reversed, they are just natural. Okay, so now we can test some of its properties. Pull it down into the water. And if we speed up here, we can see we can now gain a steady 10. That's dual the speed. And with our propeller steering, we have a much sharper angle we can turn on probably and if we want to say here decrease that we can kind of almost spin on the spot which is kind of cool so well 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 now then what we did we more uh, we will update these uh, cannon here because we have EMP mixed in and the EMP kind of lowers our um, amount of high explosive we can pack so we don't want that all right so see here right there and there and there instead what we want to do we want to add some let's see here where are they called fragmentation I believe we want some fragmentation just because it's cool right now when that's updated we can fill the gap actually we should be using this mode i know you probably already complained in the comments <laughs> that i'm stuck with a good old type yeah but it's you know it's easy to switch and it's very nice to move around with this thing also, we should use the P button. All right. Here we have this one. We can see the shots here. Cool. All right. It m makes me confused some, actually. Oh well. around there okay great we just try to make this kind of look ish hole well 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 now then is there anything I missed fixing oh yes we added this fantastic little bar thing here just to connect these parts together a bit better and make it look cool slightly right we can just reinforce it with some of those slopes you know and now it looks cooler I'm a bit unsure of these endings here they kind of cover Ah, they kind of overlap in a weird way. Let's let's remove this part. Of the overlapping thing here, and instead we just add a one of those and some whips. 
coverage like that. We now have a much sharper angle. Actually, let's see here. We can have this triangle three meter, right? We can cover it there. Make it a bit roofy. Let's see how it looks if we try to round off it pretty plainly. I love how the blocks always seem to know which direction you want to put them in. It's very cool. Right. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know how to disable night. I guess it's in the settings before you start it, but I haven't really looked at it. <clears throat> so, well, we'll have to endure. That looks a bit better. Hmm. Let's add this little middle section here. No. I hate you can't you can't force it to put down the lock that looks less weird okay like that so we have this little bump here nobody knows why <laughs> all right <clears throat> now now let's see here um, where do uh, yes 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 while I'm not saying it's a good uh, Oh, I almost made a mistake. I figured out it before I said it to you. But I was almost going to put a turret onto the ammo boxes. Except, uh, many ships may have target prioritization that targets weapons, which means that we would accidentally lead the enemy to shoot, lead the enemy to shoot at the ammo boxes. So that was a not very good idea. Well, what we can do is making a little stand. So we will make a small little stand here in behind. It won't be. It will not be very advanced. I'll just make this little two-stage. I guess this is kind of far enough away from the ammo boxes. I hope. All. <laughs> We'll notice, that's for sure. Okay, great. And now we have this little stance, basically. Oh, before I'm g I <laughs> before I get more disturbed by the lack of detail, we will fix this detail here. Oh, we can also make some nice covering things for these beauties here. Oh no. One more. Okay, there. Covering them up a little bit. Okay, nice. Ah, it turned away. So, well, it were probably probably good that I lost 30 minutes of footage because <laughs> this video is going to be long enough anyways. Oh well. Yep, so we can now fill that up here. The um, uh, material, well, let's not protect it too much. It's just, you know not too exposed and now we'll add this little rain thing here okay nice oops not that one No, 
like that and we just have this socket type here we will install my <laughs> AA turret so we'll place a load sub object and it's will the AA thing with the one axis turret we'll aim it that way we'll remove that and then we can place a thing here okay great now we will test this oh wait where is the ship They do limit the damage. <laughs> they're not actually good, but uh, <laughs> well, I think they kind of look cool. I'm pretty happy with this the, the design of this kind of one-sided. Oh yeah, you may say what you want about it, but uh, at least it looks kind of cool. And well, that's something. So, because this is, uh, you know, these are not actually designed to maybe shoot forward, actually, but I guess planes will be coming in from forward, so yeah. But anyways, we need to have some detection for sure. We do not have any detection at this moment, uh, and we definitely need some. So what we'll do is we'll add a sonar. Going to make a little thing for it. Whoops. Just go with a slope. Where is it now? Okay, like that. Okay, great. Now we will want, where is my slope? Here is my slope. And just whoops, cover it like that. And like that, whoops. Then we're gonna go with the AI. AI connector. Actually, ooh. Well, we'll remove the back here and just have a little receiver. Then we go with... No, not local weapon controller. Detection equipment. And 360 sonar. Here we have our sonar looking for threats underwater so we can snipe them somehow of course we want more systems indeed we want lots lots and lots of detection systems one of our main things will naturally be a very simple camera so where do we have Ah, uh, connector here. Actually, I think we will be making a little. I don't know, AA. AA, AI. Tower. We have the. For the front camera view, there. And then we can go with extending it like that. Actually, I want to tower more backwards, but have let's have some of the some of the tracking systems here. No, not that again. What is this? 
anti-turret missile cannon. Okay, fancy. What we want is what? Detection equipment, anti-camera. And we want D. So, what do we want to have? A camera, gimbal, tracker. So when we got something in scope, we can use the camera to track it. And if we would have problems detecting things... Ah. In... If it's dark, maybe we can have it a bit down, actually. Okay, good. So we can have a, a IR, IR camera. Then we want to have a 90 degrees radar. Oh. To just detect some forward facing things. Oh. Oh well. So we can have something else on the side here. Laser rangefinder. Telescope. What is this? Telescope camera gimbal, gimbal tracker that can detect single already detected object and provide high quality detection object. This one uses a color camera to work fantastic, blah 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 blah, but fairly poor, blah blah blah. Okay. Alright. Range error. So, 8% range error. Um, I don't see... What, what is the difference here? It's have more health. Relative detection, blah, 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 blah. Different buoyancy. It looks very similar. It kind of looks cool though. <laughs> because it's a sniper type ship, it would be kind of cool having this one, I guess. But it's. Uh, we need. <laughs> We need to have an extra block above it, just so we can spawn it. Okay, like that, now we can remove them. So here we have a telescope. Perhaps it can track longer distances, maybe. Uh, let, let's save that for later. I want to have one actually. Not because it's, you know, I don't know if it works, but... So, uh, what do we more want? Laser, ray, laser range finder. We could use one of these. Just have armor, wow. Let's just use a standard. So we have some kind of equipment for detecting. Oh well. Now, what do we want here? We want to have the receiver and it's totally now connected. We have our first sensoring unit. We can add some, no, not stone, metal. We can arm this some limited. So if we get hit from this side, I mean, these are too, too important to just not have any armor on.
And this still works. Good. And the back side is well. Well. That's the back side. We can just add some wood here. Extend in our future designs. What is this uh, square corner? Oh, that's wood. Oh, well, never mind. Does this work? Yes. I like our little detection system, though. It's kind of nice. Now we also want our additional <laughs> kind of radio tower. We're going to build a small radio tower thing exactly here. Right. We want the four meter slope. Just try to extend this. I kind of wanted more of the scaffolding feeling, but I kind of see that will be impossible. I have a feeling we might as well use metal here. keep it kind of ish protected or at least kind of you know can add some limit limited protection maybe we don't need that can do like this like this Maybe I should use this mood. <laughs> uh. And from here, we're going to go to the AI again. And we're going to go for... Where is it now? Connector. We're just gonna do two separate towers. Just because, I don't know. I don't have a good reason. Receiver. So if we get a kind of direct hit or something, um, maybe one of them will survive. That's basically the reason. Actually, they should be more spread out, but um, never mind. So what do we want to have here? We want to have... Let's see here. The laser rangefinder, like that, and on that we're going to have the 360 radar. On the other one we want to have, what do we want to have? Sonar, passive sonar. IR camera, gimbal tracker. That could be something. But, um, oh yes, we of course we want a telescope. Just need to take some blocks there. And then we want to have a telescope right there. <laughs> oh no. Now this is blocked. Of course we need to... Maybe we can put it there. Okay. Telescope. Now then. 
Yes, now it works. And this also works. Then we go with uh, the regular ca cameras on one side here. Additional little extra camera. I guess we put it on the big tower. Okay, there we have it. And now, when we're done that, we're going to add this last thing with the, you know, these ones. What about the nine meter? works. You can have it there. Does the 7 meter also work? Yes, it works. Nice. I kind of like this pattern. Probably doesn't provide us with any, <clears throat> you know, positive additions. Uh, but it looks cool. And hey, that's something. Now, I don't remember, do we have any repair equipment on this? Maybe not, but we'll definitely add some. Now, let's see, where, where is... Con no, not control. Michelinus, misc. Repair bot. We want a repair bot, <clears throat> or two repair bots, close to the AI. Can have them on each side on the side of the AI just so that you know the AI is the most important thing. I feel we have a decent, you know, some decent detection now. Probably too much. I wanna just see that it actually can handle all these equipment at the same time. Blah, blah, blah. Purpose detectors 100%. Great. Now then. I guess we need to work some more on the <laughs> design itself. Because we don't have a cockpit thing yet. Is there, I wrote down some things here. Um, uh, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> and it doesn't really say much. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I think, I think, I think we kind of did everything I wrote on the list. But we can add some supportive things. Oh no, now we don't have mirror mode available. That's kind of sad. Well, now it fits together. So we're around the end of here with some inverted triangles and stuff like that, I believe. Oh, wait. Ah, right. Inverted triangle corner. Two, two meter. Ah, triangle. Oh, 
they're all left. Okay, I can just go around here. I think I've forgotten something essential again. Oh well. kind of rounds off the end a little bit. <laughs> Not too much, but uh, well, well, well. Backside a little bit more interesting. I don't know if there is anything more we want to add back here. I think um, what we want to do is uh, kind of actually block off this space here or connect rather connect this to, whoops, oh no, now we need to, okay, stop ship. So what we want to do is we want to make it more uh, organic in a way by having it a bit asymmetrical. Mm. And one thing we'll do is, this is going to be the, what's here, this is, uh, the bar board will be the steering, no, ugh, I'm just mixed up, you know, the terms, because bar board, uh, it means bar board because it's the uh, opposite of starboard, which starboard is a weird name because uh, the word is derived from old Scandinavian. Um, styrbord, it's in Swedish, and it's from styr as in steering. Uh, so, starboard is the steering side because usually on old ships, uh, on Viking ships, the uh, um, the steering rudder was always on the left side for some reason. So, yeah, and the other. The, the other side was bare, it didn't have anything, it didn't have a steering thing, so that is, it's nothing, nothing board, bar, you side. Anyways, uh, now you know that, <clears throat> I probably told it to you some other time, but uh, now you know it again, if you forgotten it somehow. <laughs> what we want to do is we want to, on the other side here, make space for some long-range missiles because we also want long-range missiles because hey that's cool man just gonna move these around whoops did I accidentally open up oh yes I blocked off the uh, yeah I deliberately made space for <laughs> actually having 
can have the ammo generators going on there. I made, you know, this hole is actually connecting the air spaces, so we only need one of those vacuum things. Probably we should have more than one, but uh, hey hey. All right, so we want to make a whoops. Where am I now? Okay, okay, here we are. We're gonna make this cockpit thing here. Just wanna set. What is it called? This one. Just trying to make this a bit higher before we close it off with a roof thing. Just make it slightly more boat like. like that. I think it looks pretty decent so far. Okay, now I need to rest a bit from the cool building mood and build <clears throat> with the uh, inferior good old voxel mood thing. You know, when you get too used to things. Actually, I kind of like this design. I don't know if we're getting too heavy now, but this is starting to look damn awesome. Wow. Okay, great. Oh no. Blocks, wood blocks. Woodblock. Woodblock, thank you. So, we now will go to glass. And a new window block, which actually looks, it actually looks cool. Let's see, the window block is cheap, good. Actually, we can enjoy this mood here a little bit. Or not really. Uh, I kind of like it somehow, even though I'm not super adept with it. It's a nice change, you know. Sometimes you just get tired of the way voxel games, voxel games make you flip around the camera all the time. Right, nice. Actually, we can own, we can have, we can just add this thing here. Then we add a Ah, pipe pull, of course. Then we can add the pressure vent. Nice. Now we can go with... Hmm. Some wood cover for this. 
triangle corners for everyone. Oh, I love how it just often knows exactly where you want to point the blocks. It might be something I made up, but it really feels like it. Or it's just cooperating with me, I don't know. Who would have known? A game that cooperates with me. So. Kind of yes, and then the one meter slope. No. Inverted corner. Okay, okay. Then it maybe shouldn't say so. Then it might stop cooperating with me. Here is a place where I maybe can use the fill tool. Except I won't, because you never know when the fill tool is gonna decide to kind of do annoying things. So I will not use the fill tool. <laughs> Uh. Pressure vent. Mast top. Isn't that nice? can have some massed top blocks here just because we want to emphasize our cool design, yeah? I don't know how much cool respect it implies, but anyways, why not? Do we have a support beam here? We do. Good. Actually, it looks weird. I think four of them suffices. Oh, the shutters are kind of fun though. We maybe should add shutters. Okay, here we have shutters. I don't know. Double shutters. Completely useless, but it looks like kind of closed windows now. A bit funny. Board. Master base. Master base. HPs. Oh well. Just trying to mix up the design slightly, <laughs> adding some fake windows. The addition of the day. Well, um, now, oh yes, we want to connect these two things slightly with a little block just like that. I think we can actually go into the this thing to find these... Oh, wait, I can use this block to connect. Then it looks even more fancy. It's kind of, you know, I feel we lack some parts. Oh, well, um... I guess we have to go back to the slope here. Well, a little mixed design never hurts. We kind of can keep these boards free here for the cannons, sort of. But I want to round this up here. And we're gonna do that with uh, 
this beard is here, just to add this type of shape. See if we can fit this together. Probably not. Oh well, it kind of almost fits. And then, this part looks really weird. But we'll just connect them together a bit half professionally, just like that. Then we add some wood blocks that unfortunately will turn into mast pieces for some undefined evil reason. Oh no, they didn't. That's weird. Oh well. Somewhere around there. And we have nothing in the sides here. That's... Maybe we should have something in the sides here. I kind of wonder what, though. I don't know. It's, I don't want to have side cannons, because this is a long-range boat. We could have some weird type of missiles going out here. But I think we will use kind of starboard of this ship to use this side as an entrance. Oops. I did disable the... yep. Actually, there are stairs. Decoration. The stairs look super cool now, also. There's no reason to not use them. Actually, I want stairs here and there. Because the stairs are so cool. for everyone. Even stars here, because why not? Just connect some pieces here. One, two, three. It just doesn't make sense, does it? We'll add another one. Okay. We're starting to reach some kind of uh, <laughs> look for the final design of this ship. But we'll need doors, for sure. That is on decoration. Decor. Standard door. And here we have it. Doors. I wonder if they release in water. Probably do. Actually, I want to see if they do. What does this say now? Not breached. Okay, maybe... 
are well, they're not really underwater, so I guess. Well, the question is, should we add long-range missiles now? This <laughs> video is uh, probably too long now. But I just can't stop building, you know. And I kind of like to record when I build, because why not? But I mean... Watching it is uh, of everyone's own will, so I put the content down there and hope that someone will enjoy it. Ooh. Like that. Okay, that's nice. Some more detail. Probably need to paint this thing though, sometime. Um, I <laughs> think it's here. What? Where could we put it? So this is the AI compartment. This is actually a part of the ship we kind of want to, you know, defend. Well, but at least go with a couple of. Uh, You know, slopes. So at least give it a little of a one of these slope roofs. Maybe we can have this inverted. No. Square right. Okay, perfect. That one. Rebeam. Great. And here we have some defense for the AI compartment. That's kind of the most important thing on this vessel. And then we have this space here we can reserve for a kind of more huge type of missile launcher. I think that could be pretty cool. Um, hmm. But a missile launcher upgrade will probably be a thing we'll do later on. Because I want to save this. Okay. And then I want to spawn the marauder and then I want to let's see what let's see what's let see I want to see what happens so <clears throat> the anti-air turrets are in full boost ah no they changed their minds Never mind. Well, at least they work from long distance. The auto cannon is online. Okay. Oh, it's pretty far away. Oh, it fires its first shot. Well, the belt feeder is already on it, but uh, it totally misses. Oh wow. It totally misses. Ooh, that was a close. It doesn't seem to be in range, really. Or is it just a aiming problem? It's actually terrible at aiming. Wow. It's not like the enemy is better, but... Boom. Bam. 
Okay, now we see frags bouncing off, and that means that it does not do its potential damage. But, when it... Ooh, when it actually hits, kind of, you know, bounces around, it destroys more blocks than before. Whee! Pretty cool. Wow. They definitely do lots of damage when they do a direct hit. Especially with the amount of fire we can fire it. It's pretty cool. Now Adnecrius got into range, but it's already taken out by partly our long range cannons, but mostly our spamming actually, mostly our spamming well, let's just try spawning a airship or an airplane, you can just take the I don't know Felix BFM Gayer thing just to see if the anti air actually can protect this thing. Oh, it's far out of reach. Oh, and it tries to lob <laughs> those heavy things at it. That's pretty funny. Oh, wow. I kind of like this uh, cannon. It's very simple but pretty cool. Oh wow! <laughs> That's actually not so far hit. But will, will they hit sometime? Okay, I see Flax doing some damage. Oh yeah, this one prioritizes uh, engines. I remember that now. Wow. So it's not doing a super good job. At shooting the engines, but at least it tries. Boom, that's close. I think we will eventually lose this battle. Or maybe not. <laughs> Telescope camera. The bombs! Oh, the bombs! Wow! It's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> My AA really sucks. Ah! The anti-air is really... Really useless. Well, this is nothing for taking out our vehicles. <clears throat> Just kind of dies. Oh well. I guess we tested it and, you know, it works pretty well. Um, we want probably to make some long-range cruiser missiles tend to add to this design. It would be pretty cool. Oh, and the 
ammo blew up. And yes, only one of the ammo compartments blew up. That's good. But the other one are, yep, there it goes. And that means both of the turrets are offline. No. The side ammo storage, yes, are still intact. <laughs> but now it's defenseless. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Um, been a long episode. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I will be catching you in the next episode. This is Geomanism Total Knowledge Channel. Signing out. <laughs>